Hey everyone, Team EDF here for more, I don't know. Alright. I've got something for you. Here. Received Gransel Sewer Key B. Everyone just got sewer keys. What the heck is this to? The sewers. We always keep a few on hand at the Capitol Branch. Never know when they'll come in handy. This one's to open one of the access grates near the Grand Area. There are some pretty strong monsters living down there, so I figured it might make for a suitable training ground. Bring it. We could totally use the warm-up. Thank you, Alden. I'm just doing my job. Make sure you don't head down there without some backup, though. If it's just the two of you, you're toast. You're toast, mister. No problem there. We'll head on down with Zane and... <sighs> Olivier, after we meet up with them tomorrow. Huh. Wow, it's late. We should probably get back to the hotel. Hey, you two, it's probably, uh, no. Nope. Nope. It's... Rip. Oh, what's going on? We're on patrol. Nighttime patrols have been increased as part of the counterterrorism measures. So it's best you avoid going out after 9 o'clock if at all possible. You two should go home. Don't you think that's a little obnoxious? What if you need to go out after 9 o'clock? It's the higher ups who makes the decisions, miss. Sorry to cause any trouble, but everyone has to abide by the rules. By the way, where is that? Where is it that you two live? We're staying at the hotel in the North Block. We'll be there for the duration of the martial arts competition. Hmm. Hold on a second. I could have swear I could see you two somewhere before. Hey! These kids are in a tournament! You know, now that you mention it. Oh, were you guys in the audience? <laughs> well, uh, we were on security detail. The match today was pretty incredible. Tomorrow's the championship, you know. We'll escort you to the hotel so you can rest up for the big fight. Um, very well. We accept. And then they kill us. Now, okay. Uh, thanks for escorting us. We appreciate it. We've got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding. What big fans are yours? We're all the same army, but I don't know. Those special ops types just want me the wrong way for some reason. No kidding. I don't want to... I don't get what goes on through their heads. But don't you think talking like this is a little disrespectful? Disrespectful to Colonel Richard, though? <laughs> well, that's why we're putting so much faith in your participation. Good luck with tomorrow's match. Haha, <laughs> thank you. We'll do everything we can, including saying goodnight to Shadow Wisher. And then we get to break Colonel Richard's neck. Oh, okay. Oh, this is all kind of complicated, huh? I don't think those guys know a thing about the Colonel's plot. They seem to think the Intelligence Division are just regular soldiers. Whatever info comes down the chain of command, they accept as the truth. Hmm. Well, I'd hate to make enemies of them, since they're rooting for us and all. Regardless of anything else, it'd be wisest not to stir up trouble with the rank and file soldiers. What do you say we stay in our room tonight and just rest up? Okay. Da 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 da. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. Yeah. Huh? Did you just hear something? Be on alert when we go inside, and be ready for a fight if things don't look right. Huh? I think we fought a trespasser. There might be explosive sets, so be careful. Oh, are you kidding, right? I need you to do exactly as I tell you. No questions. If you'd rather stay out here, that's fine with me. No way! I'm fine, let's go inside. Alright. Oh. Looks like he got away. Well, that's strange. I don't get the sense anyone's been in here, nor does it feel like there are any trap cards set. You can seriously tell that kind of thing? I guess this is all that was left behind. What, a letter? Joshua broke the seal on the seal of Orichalcos. No! Okay. Tonight, at the stroke of ten, come to the cathedral. Please tell no one of this. And that's it? And what cathedral? That huge church over in the West Block? It's already almost 10 o'clock now. Ugh, well, it sounds suspicious, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. What do you think? Should we go for it? Absolutely not! What, what was that for? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell. It, look, 
Didn't those soldiers just say they were going to reinforce tonight's patrols? You can bet they'll be keeping a close watch on the West Block, too. Alright. Still, I hate to pretend we never got it. I'll go by myself, then. Huh? It's easier for one person to stay hidden than two. I shouldn't have any real trouble getting to the cathedral unnoticed. Listen, if all I'm doing is scoping out the situation, I can handle it on my own. I just need you to stay- Hey! What? I'm no less of a bracer than you are. I can handle myself, and I won't slow you down. Your silver tongue is not going to work on me this time. Estelle, that's not what I meant. I know it's not that you don't trust me. I can tell you're worried about me. Or more that you're worried for me. What are you not telling me? How can you tell that I'm keeping something from you? I'm closer to you than just about anyone, Josh. This is... there's nothing you can keep from me. Not for very long, anyway. I'm impressed. Huh? Alright, if you want to come with me, I won't try to stop you. It's almost ten now, though, so we have to hurry. Okay. I want you to promise me something. If anything goes wrong, you do exactly as I tell you. One wrong move can be fatal. Okay, I promise. I'm just gonna move on, then. Oh, boy. Epi says this part sucks, huh? Oh, stealth. Lucia. You know, I think the only way out is through the window. <laughs> Maybe. A new curfew that starts tonight. <gasps> Was I seeing things, or did something just flash past the window? Oh. Kurt Angleson is, is suspicious. Who else we got to stay in here? Na na na. Phoebe. 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 Where's Helga? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Where's Arnold and Joe? Oh. Oh, huh. So, Athena? Huh. Oh! It looks like they're patrolling! If any of the soldiers spot us, we'll probably be led to the hotel. We need to study their movements and take whatever chances we can to get past them undetected. Okay. Uh... Time for stealth! Ah! <laughs> oh, you can't sneak past them. Okay. Why would you do that? See, I need to get to west, though. I guess I have to go further down here. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. This shadow way. Oh wait, what? Can't even go that way. The shadow way. Boom boom. So wait, which way am I supposed to be going? Do I have to go like east and around? You probably do. If there's going to be guards everywhere, I think that's going to be the only way. Guess the landing port doesn't go around. No, it doesn't. We should shadow raid. Yes. Oh wait, watch out for that murky water guy. There's another murky guy. Yep. Okay. Oh, there was a guy behind the tree. Okay, so their, their line of sight is about that far, okay. 
There's also a couple of, they've gone for quite a few stationary guards as well. Yeah. At the very least, the path will be clear depending on the position of the stationaries. Is there a stationary guy up there? No, he was moving. Okay. I want to get that samurai on. Save's it. coming. Save's coming. Save's coming. Save's coming. Save's coming. All right. Do 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 do. People actually closed their houses up. I'm impressed. Did you seriously expect to just be able to barge to somebody's house? It's an RPG, Jobs. It's a JRPG, Jobs. <laughs> Did you seriously expect to just barge to somebody's house in the middle of a stealth? Ah, oh, crap, that's the way I have to go. Oh, God, I have to slip by that little. Alright. Oh dear. See you punks later. It's our cathedral, they said, right? Yeah. That purple spot should be it. Yes. Nope. I have to go around. The control patrol path. Okay. Oh. Wait, that's another guy! Okay. Ah. Hey, okay. We go. We go low. We go low where we were. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Safe's coming. Safe's coming. <laughs> oh, okay. Huh. You you really want to just tackle that guy from the front and you just punch him right in the gut? You're not going home to your wife tonight. <laughs> See, watch out. CCTV. CCTV. All right, we made it. Stay focused, Estelle. I'll go in first. Stay close. Okay. He did. No, okay. I'm sorry, Estelle. I guess I misunderstood, huh? Oh, uh, Cheryl? Oh. Mm. No. Mm. It's just nobody. <laughs> who the heck is this? You? Hey, aren't you the nun from before? The one who was attacked on the scenic route? Oh, okay. You take it, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Thank you for what you did back there. I assume you got my message. That letter was yours. Why would you do something so secretive like that just to say thanks? Oh, now I get it. It was her all along, huh? Ah, you're very observant, Joshua. Uh, pardon me. Allow me to get more coffee. Who the heck are you? Kekosa? Oh, wait. She escaped. Lieutenant Swartz! Lieutenant Julia Swartz, commander of the Royal Guardsmen at your service. It's been a long time, you two. I knew you'd come. Uh, Brother Joshua, I knew you'd come. <laughs> Brother Nemo! It's nice to see you again, Lieutenant. Last time was back in Rouen, right? Yes, it was. It hasn't been that long, but it feels like it's been ages. Hey, hold on a second. Why are you in that get-up? And why'd you call us here? I'll answer your questions one at a time. First, the clothes, the second church, has long and deep ties with the royal family. Colonel Richard's little conspiracy had us on the run, and they helped us stay hidden within the city. Oh, okay. The answer to your other question, why I called you here, if you win the final match tomorrow, you get invited to that dinner party at the castle, right? What I need you to do is get in touch with Her Majesty once you get inside. <gasps> I realize it's a selfish request. But since we're basically fugitives, 
There's no way for us to make contact. You're the only hope we have. Well then, this is kind of unexpected. Actually, we're participating in the competition specifically in the hopes of seeing the Queen anyway. What? Explain the drugs. Really now? Almighty oh, Adios, thank you for your gift that's most sacred. In that case, I have only one favor to ask you. When you speak to Her Majesty, heed her counsel. Of course, that was the plan from the get-go. That non-involvement rule still applies, even in a situation like this. But we'll do everything we can. I'm grateful. Please take this with you. Is it a sewer key? No. Okay. Julia's letter. What's this? Give this to the handmaid, Hilda, and she'll know that you've spoken to me. Her Majesty is probably under very heavy guards by the special ops men. But you can trust Hilda. With her help, you may be able to speak with Her Majesty. Huh, she sounds like a heck of a lady. Got it, we'll talk to her. Thank you very much. Haha, <laughs> pathetic, isn't it? Yeah. I was deceived and thereby failed the one I was supposed to protect at all costs. And this happened not long after I swore that I would give my life to safeguard Her Majesty from harm. You can't imagine how helpless I have been feeling to depend entirely on another's help. You really shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I hate to say this, but there is the chance we'll lose tomorrow's match. Oh, I'm certain you'll do just fine. That Calvardia martial artist is extremely skilled. You are both children to the Colonel Cassius Blight. You mean you knew our dad, too? Not without reason that he was known as the finest swordsman in all of the Royal Army, the Divine Blade of that. Before he retired from service, I had a chance to be trained by him when he was a martial arts instructor at the Military Academy. If not for him, I would not be nearly as skilled as I am. I can't believe that. Dad's never used anything except a bow staff. I guess he must have given up the sword when he decided to become a bracer. He no longer bow-leaved. God dang it. His goal wasn't to kill his enemies. He wanted to improve himself and help those weaker than he. That's why he chose the bow staff as his weapon. Or so I imagine. Really? I don't know that my use of a staff had that kind of significance. I'm sure he hoped you'd inherit the same kind of mindset. I think he'd be proud of you. Joshua. Colonel Cassie has trained both of you. I have all the faith in the world that you'll win tomorrow's match. <laughs> Hearing you say that almost makes me think you're right. We'll put everything we have into it. Pun Pardon us, this is the Gressel City Guard. Due to the terrorist threat, we will now be patrolling the main facilities. I apologize for the lateness of the hour, but do you mind if I have a look inside? Crap. Quite alright, thank you. Just a moment, please, and I'll open the door. <laughs> oh, so, uh, a little twirl, like that. There's another door in the back of the altar room. You can get outside from there. Okay, please be careful. East block. East block. Ugh, managed to avoid the patrols so far. Doesn't look like there are any soldiers this way. Yeah, I'm not sensing anyone. I guess the night patrols are finally done. Let's last for a moment here, then head back to the hotel. Okay. Whoop. And it's gonna make me go on to another episode. Oh, we still got a minute. Ugh, so much is going on. It's starting to get a headache. I'll bet. I would have imagined Lieutenant Schwartz was waiting for us at the cathedral. Wait, so she wasn't who you were expecting to find there? Could it be you were thinking it would be someone you'd known before? Well... Oh, sorry, forget I said anything. Gotta remember the rules. His step. I don't know, I ask you anything about before we met until you're ready to tell me. I try to be careful, but sometimes it slips my mind. Estelle, I, I think you've gotten a little stronger during our travels. Huh? It's overwhelming to think about all the people around us, each and every one of them living in his own life, all under the same skies! Bandits, and every person you meet has a personality, and a history, and a story to tell. Every one of them is like us, living day by day. Sometimes, I just have to remind myself that no one acts without cause. Nothing happens without a reason, or a motive, or an excuse. And it's only when I remember that, that I start to feel like I might be able to reclaim parts of me that I've lost. Joshua. I'm probably just fooling around. 
fooling myself, tricking myself into accepting things I can't change. But even so, I'm grateful for having someone with me, and long cutscenes that always happen at the end of the bloody episode! Thanks for watching everyone, boy! Oh. <laughs> <laughs>